the School of Media and Communication is, um, has multiple majors. It has communication, media production, media studies, journalism, and public relations. Uh, there's also an advertising minor, documentary studies minors, uh, minors in the above, and we're in the process of developing an advertising major. primary function or purpose really centers around the media production in terms of the state-of-the-art equipment, the facilities. We have completely revised the media production curriculum coming into fall of 2016, which is the state and fall that we moved into the building. A lot of the opportunities that students can take from here is what they learn in their academic curriculum, is to apply it in a practical setting for their own projects, and uh, collaborate with WBG or PBS. And between the audio studios, which is a state-of-the-art audio production studio, and it's a professional studio, the video studio is a professional sound stage, there are an incredible number of opportunities for media production majors. It's not limited to media production majors, though. Uh, journalism majors, broadcast journalism majors, multi-platform um, journalism majors. So in our current space, all of the different media groups, whether it's radio, television, sports, entertainment, news, all have this really pretty converged class media lab that the different units can work together. We really didn't even have an audio production studio in our old facilities. So being able to specialize in audio production, music production, we have a Foley pits with sound, you know, where you can make sound effects. And the two production studios are actually constructed so that there is the studio, but there's a classroom attached. So everybody can be student and working on things uh, hand in hand. So I think it really provides students with very specific marketable skills. Falcon Media is a relatively new entity. We used to have all of these disparate media organizations, which still do exist, uh, but they're all under the umbrella. So we have BG24, which is a news uh, video news organization, broadcast news organization. We have BGRSO, that's Bowling Green Radio Sports Organization. We have Falcon Radio. We have WBGU-FM, which is a community and um, university partnership. Well, the student organization that I'm directly affiliated with is BG Real Productions, a university film organization. We meet Thursday nights at 9 o'clock here in the Colleen Center, and it's a great group of students who work together and create their outstanding projects. BG Real and UFO, we were able to kind of do different activities and walkthroughs of the facilities that we have. BG Real UFO has really allowed me to um, work with my peers, um, get access to equipment and people who are really advanced in what they're doing, and I get to learn from them and collaborate and get to work on some really cool projects. We have a lot of very successful internships. We've had internships with um, you know, most of the local stations in Toledo, with the Mud Hens, for example, with Disney. Bowling Green was uh, the reason I got an internship in Los Angeles, and that kind of really uh, skyrocketed my uh, passion for what I wanted to do, which was editing and even uh, possibly cinematography. But I wouldn't have had that without Bowling Green. I think that one of the things that makes CGSU um, unique and special is the extreme commitment between the, of the faculty for the undergraduate students. The new learning environment here at the Kuwain Center will greatly affect the students in their learning and in the field because we have so much more space, working space and equipment than we ever did before.